Uh, get hit that much. I've never seen him get hit that much, man. And uh, you know, uh, Pacquiao was 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 catching with some great punches, and before Pacquiao knocked him out. I, I mean, honestly. If he didn't knock him out, he would have been knocked out probably the next couple of rounds because Pacquiao was going for the kill. But he, you know, he's going for the kill and he got killed. So, you know, that's just the bottom line, man. That's the way it's the beauty about boxing, man. One punch can change everything. So, so his, so his defense wasn't. Nah, he, man, it just man. wasn't. I, honestly, man, I like. I've never seen Marquez take that many punches from Pacquiao. I mean, Pacquiao came out. He came out aggressive. He pressed the action. And, uh, you know, he was catching. He was hitting Marquez with, with everything, man. He was hitting him with everything. And, uh, you know, Pacquiao landed an overhand. I mean, oh, Marquez landed an overhand right on him, dropped him. He gets up. Pacquiao still comes, attacks, still puts on the pressure, and uh, still was, 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 was starting to, you know, take over the fight. And then he got caught in, I think it was a fifth or sixth, and it was lights out. But... You know, um, I saw a little vulnerability in uh, in Marquez during that fight, and I was just like, huh, well, Tim, maybe I have a shot. Is this the fight that you wanted for this time and place? Yeah, absolutely. I wanted this fight for this time and place. I mean, granted, the Bobnikov fight, a lot of people was like, oh, man, you should have took a tune-up for this fight. You don't know how you're going to react. Yada, yada. I'm just, I'm just, I just want to fight the best, man. I, honestly, man, this, and a lot of people saying, oh, well, you're 30 and no record. What does that mean? I'm like, it doesn't mean anything to me. I'm like, there's a lot of guys out there that are 30 and 0, 40 and 0, 50 and 0. I mean, and and and, and they haven't fought anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to fight the best. If you look at my resume, I mean, I fought, I fought some good, good fighters, man, great fighters, world champions, former world champions. I fought against guys that are champions right now. The only loss on their resume is to me. You know, and and and, and so. I'm just, I just want to fight the best. I'm not worrying about losing my O. I just want to fight the best out there, make the most money out there, and, uh, you know, fulfill my legacy, man, in boxing. If I can add this this name to my legacy, I mean, you can't deny me a spot, man, a top spot in the pop. You can't deny me that. Tim, how much, it's an obvious question, but how much better was it? Did it make you feel the reaction of the Provodnikov fight as opposed to the outrage over the decision over the Pacquiao fight? What do you mean by that? In terms of the public perception of Tim Bradley and the way you were treated by the fans and the public and the media. Well, I mean, I mean, everybody has a, has a, has, a, has an opinion, man. At the end of the day, you know, um, you know, it was a hard time going, going with the fans after with the fans and the media and everything after the Pacquiao fight because a lot of people didn't feel I deserved to win that fight that I didn't win about. But, you know, after the Provodnikov fight, I think things started to change a little bit, you know, and, and uh, you know, it was a dark point before that fight. I was in a dark, dark position in boxing, you know, and the Provodnikov fight definitely brought some light to, 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 my, to my career. It brought some light to my career, and a lot of people was like, man, what a heart. Like, I can't believe you. Like, you stood there and you fought with a guy like this. Like, oh, my goodness. Like, this is unbelievable. I've never seen a fighter fight like you, you know what I mean, and show that much determination and will. So, with that said, I wanted to stay in the light, man. I wanted to stay in the light and be in the light, and I didn't want to go back and go, because a lot of people say, oh, why didn't you face Pacquiao again? Well, first of all, I didn't want to go to Asia, all right? I didn't want to go to Asia, and I don't want to fight at 6 o'clock in the morning, all right? All right? <laughs> and... And there wasn't no, there wasn't no eight-figure paycheck coming my way. So what's the, what's the point in going there?